Hello developers, today we will see this React Native cursor with the image and pagination. So this is our desired output of this video. As you can see, it contains image, text and pagination. So let's get into it. This is our basic React app with a simple text output. First, let's import the cursor and pagination in our app with some other required libraries. Now we don't need this part, so let's remove this. After this, let's create the data for the slides. And this ID is important for the pagination. And let's give some name to the slide URL for the image. We can give any image URL here. So let's give one dummy image URL. And to create more slides like this, we can reuse this part. Now to differentiate the slides from each other, let's change the ID and name of the slides. Now let's create a view section for this data. And with the help of image component, let's call the image of the item like this and assign the height and width of the image. After this, let's call the name of the slide in this text component. Now let's increase the font size and font weight of the text. Now to create the box like this, let's assign the style to the view section. Padding for the space between two slides, border radius for the curved edges, align item to keep the items in the center, and background color. Now let's create a null state. For that, we have to keep the use state to the zero and use ref to the null. Now we will use the cursor in this view section and apply some style to it to keep this view section in the center. Ref is for pagination. This data will take the data which we have already created in the beginning. And the render will call the render item function. Now for the slider width and the item width, we will use the dimension which will take the dimension of the output device and arrange the both widths of the cursor on its own. For that, we have to create two functions, slider width and second one is item width. After this, we have to just call this function in here and with the help of on snap to item, we can handle the current cursor index and the index pagination. Now let's write an export default app here to run the app. Now to get those dots, we will use the pagination here. Dot length will take the length of the data and arrange the dots accordingly. Active dot index will take the active index data from cursor and match it. And the cursor rep is for the cursor. Now with the help of dot style, we can assign the style to the dots like height, width, border radius, horizontal margin and color. Now let's open the terminal in the folder and let's go to the article which have direct source code and installation process. It has more articles like this. Now let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal and run the app with the expo start. And we can ignore these warnings. So as you can see, we got the cursor with the image text and pagination, which shows the active index dot and we got our desired output. So that's it guys, make sure to check out the website. It have direct source code and installation process, which will help you to build the awesome React Native apps. So like this video and give sub to this channel and see you in the next one.